Hi, it's Bill Coney for Street Circle Martial Arts, and this is Muscle Memory in Kata. I went the other day about Kata and muscle memory, so I figured I'd address it for you. But I want you to understand that, like everything, there's a good and there's a bad. In the West, we often misunderstand Kata because our vision of strength is different. We like big shoulders and chest, and everything comes from the top. In Asian martial arts, everything comes from your center and your core. So what kata is designed to do is to teach you that. You go down and you feel your shoulders drop and you feel yourself connect with your core. You feel where your arms go in relation to your body where the strength is as opposed to being here where there's no strength. What kata does is it gives you an idea of where the strength of the body is. Kata could also be very good for teaching principles of how to move your hips and make the techniques work together properly. So many people have no idea how to shift from hip to hip and then back to hip and move their body. So when you go into a form that allows you to learn how to hip to hip to hip to hip, it's important to do stuff like that. You know, there's so many little basic principles hidden within it. How to use the body with tremendous efficiency and tremendous power. So I recommend doing them, but you also have to understand the downside of them. The downside of them is life isn't perfect. When you do your forms, as a general rule, everything is perfect because you assume everything's perfect. If I'm in a fight, I'm in perfect posture, I'm in perfect footwork, my hands are in the perfect place, and that's great. But what you have to understand in real life, in a fight, there's a lot of wrestling around, there's a lot of pushing, there's a lot of grabbing. You know, you go to hit, people jam you a little bit. And doing those repetitive things to where you think that that's going to happen that way is not a good idea sometimes. So when you do kata, in my opinion, what you should do is you should learn them to get really good. Because you're just trying to understand the framework. It's kind of like joint locking, right? You don't try to learn how to apply them under stress and pressure at first, you're just trying to learn how to do them. But once you get into it and you understand them really well, you have to understand that everything deviates. So if you're gonna take your kata, you should take it sometimes and break it down into pieces and, and deviate from it. You know, just because you think you're gonna get a perfect position here, you might not. What happens if that guy rushes you? And all of a sudden now you have to adjust and wheel, and then you have to step in. What happens if you get pushed or jammed and you have to actually change the form and you have to make a different step to get where you want to go? You know, and that's really hard to learn in kata because it's in your head and you don't really know what reality is. So what I recommend a lot first is take your kata and wrestle around. Take a partner and play around and move and smack each other around a little bit and get used to the movement. Get used to being bopped around, get used to being taken off balance and taken to the side or turning. And then find how it fits into that. And eventually what happens is, is your job is not to do cod anymore. Your job is to go past it. The ideas are in you, and your job is now to take those and creatively take them in a different path. It's like free flow of music. You had sheet music, and now you have sheet music, and now you want to improvise and you want to go. Because that's what you have to do in a fight. You don't have the luxury of just sitting there and going like this you know, it's, it's not going to happen. So do yourself a favor. Learn the principles of that. Learn how to sink your weight. Learn how to move your mass in your center. Learn how to put your hands in the optimal positions that create strength and not weakness. Learn how posture works. Learn how to move smoothly and fluidly with short steps. But once you get that down, you're proficient at it. You have to improvise and you have to change and you have to adapt. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Ask questions, leave comments. We've had tremendous growth with this channel recently and I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Let's keep it up.